I believe you're a first grader at the time. The teacher asks you what you want to be when you grow up. What did you say and how did your mom end up needing to get involved? <laughs> yeah, uh, because I went to a private school in Clayton uh, and it was a predominantly white school. You know, it was, I was, might have been the only black kid. There was only two of us. So there was always the intimidation factor because I went to school with kids that had two parent households and um, you know lived in much bigger houses. I remember his first time he had to bring a family picture and he didn't want to bring, he didn't want anyone to know that he that he come from a single parent home. Um, Why? I don't know, he just, he he because he was the only kid in the class. And um, so I just called his dad and I was like, we gotta go take a picture so that he can have a picture with all three of us in it. So because that's what he wants for this project. So, you know, we just made it work. And it was things like their moms would always be there volunteering during school or during lunch. And that didn't make sense to me because I'm like, my mom worked nine to five Monday through Friday. And then being in a classroom where kids wanted to be doctors or um, lawyers, because that's what they saw growing up. Their parents were doctors and lawyers or, or nurses or pilots. And then I said, I want to be an NBA player. I want to be the best player in the world. And she said, you know, you need to be more realistic. You know, that's probably not going to happen. And I remember everybody laughing. And that was like one of the lowest points because I always, I already felt, you know, intimidated going to school. I stood out. It was like I kind of didn't belong. Um, and then for her to say that and everybody to kind of laugh, uh, you know, that really, that really, it crushed me. And, you know, as an eight, nine year old kid, um, you know, I cried and I never really cried. I'm not an emotional person. You know, I remember my mom wiping my face and telling me that uh, she, she told me, she was like, remember this, remember this moment. You know, never let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. She was like, as long as you have me and grandma, you know, that believe in you, you can do anything you want. What did you say to the I teacher? I told her, don't you ever tell my child that he can't do something and don't embarrass him. Don't, you know, shoot down his ideas like you're, you know, and I told her your job is to encourage these kids and to, you know, help them grow and to plant seeds and, and you know, to, to teach them they can be anything. And I told her, don't tell him that when I'm at home telling him he could be the president if he wanted to be. Brandy seems like a tough lady. I, I can imagine uh, that teacher thought <laughs> twice moving forward if it meant uh, getting a piece of her mind. Oh, yeah. Anybody that messed with my mama baby, which is me, you know from when I was two to 24 now, you know, she gonna let him have it. And, you know, and she let that teacher have it. There's probably a lot of people that didn't believe I could be here. And that, you know, I just needed that person to say it um, and use that as motivation. Take me through these impromptu press conferences your mom would have with you while you were, I think, playing video games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be playing video games or watching Kobe play or whoever on TV. I would just be sitting there like this, and my mom would grab a remote, and she'd be like, come on, you need to practice. Like, what are you gonna do when they say, you know, you had a double-double, you guys came back, how does it feel, how, does, how, you know, how did your teammates play? And at the time, I'd be like, ma, like, nobody gonna ask me that. And she'd be like, yes, they are. Like, you gonna be who you wanna be on TV. She like, and if you wanna be the best player, they always ask the best player questions after the game, win or lose. But just little things like that had me thinking like, wow, my mom really believes that I'm gonna be that person on TV.